welcome to our channel, where we explore different philosophies and their impact on our lives. Today, we'll be diving into the topic of Stoicism and discussing the critiques and challenges posed to this ancient philosophy throughout history and in contemporary philosophy. Understanding Stoicism Before we delve into the criticisms, let's have a brief overview of Stoicism. Stoicism is a philosophy that originated in ancient Greece and was further developed by Roman philosophers. It emphasizes personal virtue, living in accordance with nature, and the importance of reason and self-control. Stoicism teaches individuals to focus on what is within their control and to cultivate inner tranquility regardless of external circumstances. Emotional Suppression One common critique of Stoicism is its perceived emphasis on emotional suppression. Critics argue that Stoicism encourages individuals to suppress or ignore their emotions, leading to emotional detachment and a lack of genuine human experience. They argue that emotions, even negative ones, can provide valuable insights and drive personal growth. Passivity and acceptance of injustice Another criticism of Stoicism is its perceived acceptance of injustice and social inequities. Critics argue that by advocating for acceptance of one's fate and the idea that external events are beyond our control, Stoicism can lead to passivity in the face of injustice. They claim that Stoicism fails to address the need for social change and can perpetuate systems of oppression. Stoicism as an elitist philosophy Some critics argue that Stoicism is an elitist philosophy that overlooks the struggles and challenges faced by marginalized communities. They claim that Stoicism's emphasis on personal virtue and detachment from external circumstances may not be accessible or applicable to individuals dealing with systemic injustices, poverty, or trauma. They suggest that Stoicism may neglect the importance of addressing structural issues that impact people's lives. Lack of emphasis on interpersonal relationships Another criticism is that Stoicism places less emphasis on interpersonal relationships and social connections. Critics argue that the focus on individual self-mastery and detachment may lead to a neglect of empathy, compassion, and the importance of healthy relationships. They claim that Stoicism may undervalue the impact of social interactions and the interconnectedness of human experiences. Stoicism's Incompatibility with Emotional Well-Being Some critics assert that Stoicism's emphasis on suppressing or distancing oneself from emotions can be detrimental to emotional well-being. They argue that acknowledging and processing emotions is essential for psychological health and that Stoicism's approach may hinder individuals from fully understanding and addressing their emotional needs. While Stoicism has its admirers and followers, it is not without its critics and challenges. Critics argue that Stoicism's emphasis on emotional suppression, potential passivity, and perceived elitism can limit its applicability to various individuals and contexts. It's important to engage in critical discussions and consider these critiques to gain a well-rounded understanding of Stoicism and its potential limitations. Thank you for watching, and we hope this exploration of the critiques of Stoicism has provided you with valuable insights. Remember, philosophy is a subject of ongoing debate, and it's essential to examine different perspectives to broaden our understanding. Please share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more philosophical discussions. The stoical scheme of supplying our wants by lopping off our desires is like cutting off our feet when we want shoes. Jonathan Swift Stoicism is the wisdom of madness and cynicism the madness of wisdom. Bergen Evans The Stoics taught a life of happiness based upon logic and reason, and advocated the development of self-control and fortitude as a means of overcoming destructive emotions. John Boardman Stay Stoic